Hi guys, welcome back. Well, the Brayley drill grinding head that I ordered, I bought on eBay. According to the tracking, it should arrive Monday or Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday of next week. So um, I've decided I've been looking around, seeing what uh, other items I need to get the thing up and running. Um, first thing I've been looking at is some uh, mortar to mount the grinding wheel on and I've got three possible contenders um, the first thought was to use this uh, three phase mortar uh, it's probably the heaviest duty one of the three um, I've had this mounted in the past working on the vintage wood lab when I first bought it but since I've uh, converted it onto the pedestal pedestal grinder drive, this is surplus um, so this was my first choice um, it's three phase so I can work this on a frequency drive to adjust the revolutions um, but having said that um, this is a flange mounted motor that's the reason I've got this old brake disc on it uh, it's not foot mounted now that's the downside of it because the mortar will be mounted onto an XY table to bring the um, grindstone into contact with the drill. So that's uh, that was my first thought, but uh, I'll be having second thoughts. Well, this was my second option. Um, again, it's a three phase mortar. Now, this can be mounted. This can be mounted on a flange, or it's got a foot attachment on it, on it as well. So, uh, but this isn't a very powerful mortar. I'm not sure what the horsepower is on this. Uh, I can see kilowatt, point five, point five kilowatt. So, um, if that was slightly bigger, it would be ideal. But um, I've uh, decided against that one. Well, this is the one that I've decided I'm going to go with. This is a Sealy combination bench grinder, a wire brush, and buffer attachment with it. It's got a pigtail on this side for the buffing mops. Um, but this is this is single pairs, which uh, I would have preferred a three pairs, but it's only single pairs. So uh, as I say, I've decided I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, we're having the pigtail on this side. Um, there's no uh, direct way that I can put a, a grinding wheel onto that. So I'm going to have to come up with some kind of arbor that um, will take the grinding wheels so I have got this uh, grinding arbor um, that I'd modified in the past to fit into one of my ER32 collets now that's a inch and a quarter across the top so that is a direct fit for a inch and a quarter of diameter wheel and uh, there's a collar that screws onto the top of it then so that that solves the uh, problem on this side of mounting a wheel but um, there isn't enough wall thickness in this to machine that down to fit onto this uh, straight shank so I need some kind of adapter to transfer this onto this so I've got this this piece uh, that I'm going to mount in the lathe I'll take the thread off first of all and then uh, ream it out to suit uh, the diameter of this shank I've also like to put a sleeve on um, there's three machine screws on this side 
which uh, I'm presuming originally for carrying the uh, the guard. Um, but uh, that's a gone. I'll pick this up second hand. That had disappeared. So I'm thinking once I've uh, machined this down to suit that that shank, if I weld a, a flat plate onto here, put that on, drill the three holes to mount it onto this, I could then put a, a, an additional bearing in this side that then would support the longer length. Uh, I may have to weld an additional collar on there to suit some of the bearings that I've got, but that shouldn't be a problem. But that would extend it out then and then this would be about that length. So, oops, yeah I'm going to mount this in a lathe, put this end in a collet chuck and take this thread off first of all um, and then we'll look at putting a hole through to suit this diameter. Well I've got a collet that's the correct size for this end. That'll fit in nicely there. The only trouble is it's not very long, I should say it's 25mm and uh, if I put that in and tighten it down the chances are that the the jaws will distort and close, close up on this end far more than the part that's gripping the item so uh, the chap that I bought this chuck off had made these uh, pieces. Got quite a few of these different sizes and the idea with these is that once, you, once you've got the work in at the business end these pieces then let's get you in focus these pieces then slide in the top and as you tighten the choke down you don't get the distortion with the with the jaws because this end is then the same diameter as the uh, the piece that you're working with so I'm going to put this first and then mount it in and um, there is another hole drilled in the center of that that I can mount a, a live uh, center on in the tail stock so uh, yeah, we'll get that mounted up and see how she goes. <clears throat> well, I'm going to tighten the collet down just so it starts to bite on that spacer. And that seems about right there. I'll still get the machined end of that uh, piece in. Yeah, so there's a hole drilled in there in this extension piece, so I think. Uh, I think that will give me sufficient support. Tighten that down. See how that runs without the tail stop support. pretty good to me guys so we'll put the tail stock support in and we'll give it another try
Well, this is a piece of tubing I'm going to use as a sleeve to put a, an additional burring in at this end that this uh, this section will sit in and run in. So I need to turn the whole thing down to the just under the diameter of that, so it'll uh, it'll clear the tube. So about right there. So yeah. Doesn't need a great deal up now.
Well guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up now. I've got the arbor for the grinding wheel machined. So I'm going to put that in my arbor press. Push that in. And then I'll drill through and put a couple of grub screws into this end. Um, next job is to carry on machining this side. This needs to be bored out to uh, suit that pigtail that's on the motor. So uh, once I've got this pushed in, we'll, uh, we'll drill this side out and ream it and get that finished. And then um, I think that's the motor finished. Can't wait now for Monday or Tuesday when the uh, Breel Ahead arrives. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next episode.